everyone, welcome back to another video. It has been a while, hasn't it? Uh, in case you don't remember, my name is Ariel and I am the owner of Aribea Sticker Shop. Uh, today, as you can tell from the title, I'm going to be hauling a few things from Hobonichi. I have a few drawer pouches here and then I have a few covers and accessories that I want to show you that I purchased from Fiden Pens. Uh, Fiden Pens is a local to me stationery store. They sell fountain pens, inks, etc. I was able to make a custom order from Fiden Pens uh, for some Hobonichi covers that I had a little FOMO about uh, making my first order from the Hobonichi website, uh, which hasn't come yet. Um, I'll film that video uh, as soon as that box arrives. I'm very excited for that box to arrive, but for now I'm going to share your, with you guys uh, the happiness in this box. So I'm going to put my drawer pouches to the side a little bit because I know you guys would probably want to see these things first. So, uh, I'm just going to quickly push this off to the side. Oh, you can see a little bit of a sneak peek there. Um, as you can see, I did make my order from Finding Pens. They were really nice. I did have to make a custom order from them. I talked to Elsa, um, and she was very helpful, and she replied really quickly as I was making my order. So, um, I'm very thankful for that. There are a few other Toronto-based stationery stores that I purchased from. Like I said, this is my first time ordering from Finding Pens, and I'm definitely going to go back for some more. So let's get into it. So the first two things that I have here are some plain notebooks. So um, I already do have a few of their plain notebooks that I have, or that I'm hoarding rather, uh, but I wanted to pick up these ones because they have limited edition um, illustrated covers. Um, I really hope that they continue to make these sorts of limited edition covers every single year. I'm not sure if this is going to be like available next year in this specific illustration, but if they were to do like many many more um, cover options for these plain notebooks, you know I'm going to be getting all of them uh, because of FOMO. So I picked up both sizes, the A5 here and then this guy is the A6. Um, I was really excited about both of these, so let me just, I'm just going to open both of them. So I really love the illustrations here, I think they're so beautiful and whimsical, and it's interesting that they're on a black background as well, so I thought that was really nice and it stands out a lot. Um, this artist is also the same artist that did the clear cover on cover for this year, as you can see, so some of the floral elements are the same. Um, so this is the A6 plain notebook. It's really nice and compact. On the inside here the grids are um, different colors by the way so if you ever need to separate them uh, by color then you you are free to do so. So in the very back this is sort of like a purpley color. The next one is sort of a green. Then there's a blue and then um, like a reddy pink color. So the inside of this would be the exact same as this A5, but just two times larger. So let me open this one. So this is the A5. It has the exact same illustration as the other one. And like I said, the grid is colored. So if you need to um, separate your notebook into four even parts, then that is already done for you. My plan with these is actually, for, for this A5, I'm planning on putting it in my My Manga and I cover which I do have here, I just think that they would look really nice together. So if I just quickly slip this in like that, I think that looks really, really cute, don't you think? Uh, also to go with this, I did also get a pencil board. So this is one of their new collaboration pencil boards that they uh, decided to do, and this time they collaborated with a photographer. Uh, it should say at the back here his name, Saul uh, Later. So that is on the back there. And they also have these in um, A6 as well as Weeks, but I just got the A5 one because I thought it would look nice in this My Manga and I cover, which I'm planning on using. Uh, this image, I believe, is called Don't Walk uh, from 1952. So this is the pencil board, which I think is really cool. Uh, the back is sort of like a gray color. Oh, and it does say um, the artist or the photographer on the back here. And the little today tab is a darker gray. 
So I thought that looked really nice and I think it will look really um, awesome in my manga and eye cover so that's why I got it so I at least have um, some more things to match this one. I feel like I have a lot of like decorations and stuff for some of my other planners but because this is more of a neutral like darker planner um, I thought that these items would look better in here and they do look how nice they look together. Okay. So I'm very happy about that. So those are the accessories that I got and I do have now a few covers. I have an A6 cover here uh, and this is in the color caramel pink. I think that's what it's called. Uh, this pink is so cute and it's very very bright. Um, this is one of the covers that I <laughs> kept going back and forth on when I was making my first original order on the Hobonichi website that hasn't arrived yet. Um, but this cover, yeah, this cover is so cute. Um, I really like this because of course there is a very bright pink on the front, but the inside is a more neutrally color. I like having a lot of more neutral cool tone colors on the inside of my uh, techos because I feel like when I'm writing and when I'm decorating those are sort of the colors that I gear towards. I think it's a very nice contrast with the exterior color as well, um, which is very, very bright pink. It's almost like a neon on camera, but uh, in person it's very, very beautiful. It does have a back pocket here, which I always really like to see. And of course there are a ton of pockets in the side here. So for now, I think I'll just put in this notebook here so you guys can see. Uh, these notebooks, by the way, are about the same size as the Avec notebooks. So they're about half the size of the regular original Techos, uh, so you'll be able to see the sizing like that. I think this is really nice. Uh, so quickly, uh, let's talk about the interior here. You get two bookmarks, you get two closures that you can put your pen through um, to close the book. I like using them as two pen loops, to be honest, because uh, I like having 10 million in one pens with me. Uh, but you have another slot here to put in the front cover of your notebook. You have a, uh, another secretarial, get a few card slots, one, two, three, four, and then a smile pocket here. On the back, you do get this flap, uh, which inserts the notebook. You get another one of these, and then um, another smaller flap here. On the inside of this pocket, by the way, it says, Happy Nothing Special Day. Uh, which I really like, so in case you didn't know that, uh, that's a fun little, uh, what's the word, easter egg, I guess you can say? Uh, it's just like a fun extra that Hobonichi likes putting in their planners. So that is uh, the caramel pink planner, which I think is really cool. Oh, so I just noticed now that these two colors are very, very similar. Apparently these are just the colors that I like, <laughs> even though these two planner covers are slightly different aesthetics. Obviously this one is just brighter, this one is more uh, neutral. I think they will look really cute together, so I might have to use these together uh, and take a few pictures, don't you think? Uh, so those are those. I do have one more thing from Find and Pens, and it is the item that I'm most excited about. I was very excited uh, to order this. And it is, ta-da! This is the Hobonichi Nintendo Animal Crossing New Horizons collab cover. I am so excited about this. So as many of you know, uh, this cover has been sold out and I feel like Hobonichi needs to make another one for next year because obviously this cover is going uh, to be a collectible and a fan favorite for so many, so many people. Look at how adorable this cover is. So uh, I made this whole order just for um, this cover basically. I actually had to reserve this cover because normally uh, from Find and Pens they, um, in their store they really only put the cover with the Techo already inside but I actually uh, made a custom order with them. Uh, they were really nice like I said. Um, Elsa was very very kind and she replied really quickly but I asked her if I would be able to purchase the cover on its own without the Techo because uh, I know I want the Avec and in their store they only um, do the full year as a set, I believe. So let me just take out the plastic to show you guys the gorgeousness of this cover. This is so cute. Okay, so let's just talk about how cute and vibrant the colors are. It is so pretty. Um, you can see all of the villagers here and they're so adorable. 
the color is very very vibrant on this so i definitely don't think that it will fade um oh my god these are so cute oh it's so adorable i really like how um the illustration also um goes on to the pen loops which i think is cool i think it's really cute when tetros um continue into the pen loop i think that's really pretty so like i said i got the a5 um i don't have a very large collection of a5 covers um so that's why i got this one <gasps> Oh my god oh my god yeah this is one of the things that i definitely <laughs> i definitely um wanted this cover just because of these cute little bookmarks i love these little i love these little um like extra touches that hobonichi does um with their planners i think it's so cute i always look forward to seeing what they do with the bookmarks for a lot of their collaborations i remember in one of the spring edition like usagi Techo covers, there were like pom poms. I think in the Ranma one last year, they were, um, oh, fish balls. They were fish balls and they were so cute. Uh, but I really like these ones too. Oh, so cute. Um, another special thing for this cover that they have added uh, are these cute stickers. How adorable are these? Look at the radishes. <laughs> I think these stickers are so cute and obviously you can use them as you're playing um, as well. So. That is a really nice touch to have with this Techo cover. Uh, quickly, I will go through the um, pocket configuration. You get two slots here to put in your notebook, one in the back here. Oh, it does also still have the writing on the inside there. Uh, you get another slip pocket here and one, two, three, four um, card slots. You get a smile pocket on the back here and then two smaller ones here. I really like the pocket configuration of all of my cousin covers, so I'm excited to add this one to my collection. It's very different from the covers that I normally use. I do have a clear cover on cover, which I will put on immediately. I ordered this probably last year. So I'm just going to put this on really quickly. And then I can also put my planner in here when it arrives. I did order a few other covers from Hobonichi, but I will show you guys those a little bit later. So let me just move the plain notebook from here to here to show you guys what it will look like with an Avec inside. Oh, cute! So that looks freaking adorable. I'm very excited about this um, cover. Um, I'm most likely going to be setting this up for um, 2022, so I'm going to have to find some really cute die cuts. I might already have some die cuts from Hello Paper Cat that I want to use in here. Oh man, I'm just so excited. Look how gorgeous this is. Let me know in the comments down below who your favorite villager is because I'm going to keep staring at this um, planner forever because it's so adorable. I wish I had like some more like Animal Crossing merch. Um, if I can get the... I really wanted that limited edition like Gelato Peak... Um, what's it called? It's like a little tote bag. Oh my god, I wanted that so bad, but it's obviously only available in Japan. But I'm very happy with this cover and I'm very thankful that I was able to get it from Fighting Pens. So now that I am done with all of the items that I got from Fighting Pens, um, I can now also show you some other things that I got from Hobonichi. All right, so these are the last two items from Hobonichi that I purchased. I got two drawer pouches. I do have a feeling that Hobonichi will start releasing a few more um, like fabrics in their drawer pouch designs. Um, so I'm gonna keep my eye out on the website very, very soon. Uh, but these are the two that I decide I decided to purchase. I got a large one. So this is the large drawer pouch that I got and it is super neon uh, greeny yellow. This is the Suki Usagi um, cover. I got this because this bunny is so adorable. It is from a um, manga or a cartoon and oh my god it's so cute. They have this in um, like an actual Techo cover as well. Maybe the background is a little bit different, but oh, this was the this was the um, spring cover that I was talking about earlier, the one with the bookmarks with the pom poms. Uh, but this one obviously is just a drawer pouch, and this is the large size. So 
Let's quickly go through it. It does have two zipper pulls. I really like the zippers on this, by the way. They're really nice and smooth. And then inside, you have a lot of room in here. So let me just remove these. So inside, the interior lining is a nice brown. I really like the color combination of this green and the brown, so I'm happy about that. But look how much room you get inside. I'm gonna start on this side so you can see a little bit better. Uh, so over here, there is a very large mesh pouch. So you can put really uh, big documents and stuff inside here. Uh, in this first accordion fold, um, it's also very spacious as well, so you can stick things in here. Um, I will say that there is like holes on the bottom here, so don't put like pencils and stuff like that because they might fall out. Uh, you can put pencils in this middle part, which has a zipper. Um, I actually haven't tried putting Tombow dual brush markers in here. Mm, maybe they'll fit. I'm not entirely sure. I'll test it out later when I um, film a what's in my pencil case or drawer pouch video, um, but I'll do that a little bit later. Uh, let me flip it so you can see the other side. On the opposite side, you do get some sewn-in pockets. So in the very back, um, you get two pockets here. So you get one and then two. Uh, the next pocket is the full length and full depth. Uh, and then the rest of the pockets are um, into thirds. So there's one here, two, three, and then they're three deep as well. So you can put uh, little small pieces of ephemera in here. Um, etc, etc. I'm probably going to use this as a journaling pouch um, alongside my Delphonics. So I can put um, all of my like date covers or little scraps of paper, ephemera, die cuts and stuff like that that I want to use. Or I might just use this to organize my other stationery. Uh, what I really like about this drawer pouch as well is that um, it kind of can expand a little bit because it's just made out of fabric. Uh, you can also put things in here which um, there is a large pocket in the back. It's also lined with the brown. I believe in this little card it does show a few examples um, as how you can use your pouch. So here they have a few like business cards, uh, like notepad, paper, uh, if you take any medication, any ointments, cell phones, cords, pens and pencils and stuff like that. They show you exactly how you can use it. And I'm sure they have other uh, usage examples on their website as well, so I definitely recommend you check that out. So that is my first drawer pouch, which is the Suki Usagi, and then I also picked up this one, which is the Baby Penguins. Both of these fabrics, by the way, are the suit and tie uh, fabrics, so they're very durable, they're kind of like slippery, um, and I think they'll be pretty easy to clean. I think this Baby Penguins cover, it definitely was a Weeks cover a few years ago, maybe it was 2018. Uh, I didn't order that obviously, so now I'm happy that I have this. I do have a few things in here because um, I was just moving things around and I wanted to see uh, what would fit in here, so let me just remove these. Uh, but the interior of this Baby Penguins uh, is a pretty gray. Uh, it is a very similar configuration to this one. You get a zipper pocket in the center here, like that. Uh, but this one also does have a few pockets on the side here. Uh, there is still like a hole on the uh, on the center here, so I definitely wouldn't put any pens like inside here or inside here. Um, I would probably just um, put them in the zipper pocket or maybe in the oh no. That will also um, fall out if I put it in there. Or maybe I'll, I guess one of these larger um, sections can also be used for pens as well. But look at all of these card holders. You have a lot of space um, to put in the cards and stuff like that. Also this large pocket. And it's um, the same on the opposite side as well. So I'm excited to put my pens and pencils in here. Uh, there is a back pocket like all of the other pouches. I do have... Uh, the pocket drawer pouch and I also do have the regular uh, standard like pencil case as well so I'll be able to well if you guys want to see a comparison between all of the sizes I'll definitely do that I have a memoria um, medium size pencil case if you want to see that as well uh, I just wanted to show you this tag as well uh, just showing some usage examples this NA pouch by the way does have uh, one of these so you can put your hands in it and like just go like that 
which I think can be very useful. I think I also have one on my other drawer pouch as well, but the large one obviously doesn't because it's quite big. So those are all of the things that I purchased from Hobonichi recently. Like I said, there's going to be a part two coming soon, which will be my order directly from Japan. So I'm hoping that will come within the next few days and I will be able to post that for you guys. So I hope you enjoyed watching this haul. What was your favorite item? Um, I definitely think that this Animal Crossing New Horizons cover is my favorite thing in this haul. I think it's so cute. Um, I'm going to be staring at it a lot. <laughs> Um, let me know, like I said, uh, let me know in the comments down below who your favorite villager is. Or if you're not into Animal Crossing, let me know what your favorite um, item is from the Hobonichi store. Um, so we can have a little chat in the comments. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. I guess I will sign off here. I will see you in the next video. Bye!